And there you have a beautiful little sexy rose arrangement. Hi guys, today we're just going to do up a beautiful little sexy arrangement in this stunning metal gold pot. I've got some stunning red roses, a few bits of uh, pieces of Australian produce and we're going to do up amazing little sexy thing. Alright, so I'm going to start with this beautiful Australian gum. I'm just going to feed that around the outside. I'm not going to use it all up because I want some height at the back so I'm just going to trim off a few small pieces that way I would normally uh, strip off and not use down low. Doesn't matter if there's a few blemishes on the leaves, it's natural, it's nati native. Okay, so we're starting with the little base like that. What I'm going to use here is beautiful Australian kale. I'm going to cut them on an angle and I'm going to place them to one side. I'm just going to twist it so I've got the forward facing. With kale also, which is quite amazing, you can reflex their little stems out, their petals, uh, to make them look nice and fluffy. So, looking gorgeous. I've got three of those. Must be one of those little OCD things that I do. I always tap the table with the, the stem that I've just cut. Kind of must be like a little measure in my head. So we're starting to take some shape there. It's only the very beginning of the arrangement. So what I'm going to do next is up the back, I'm going to put some beautiful little Australian feather celosia in, cut their stems on an angle and pop them in at the back, giving this some beautiful height. Now I've chosen hot pink uh, because that goes so sexy. It's like, oh, it's like velvet, love it. That'll go really well with the red. And I'm going to stagger them down. So I'm not going to keep them all one height. I'm going to start layering down and telling a story with that. Just giving them a little bit more angle. In there. Broke that one so that one can go at the front. And I'll use this other one. Just up through the back there. They're starting to come along. Very nice. So now I'm going to put this third kale just down here in the front. Or should I put it at the back? I'm going to actually change my mind. I'm only going to feed it up through here. I cut it to the length that I want. I'm just going to turn it to me uh, and reflex the, the kale's uh, petals, they've got a beautiful little spine in it, it makes it so easy to do. And you double the size of your kale, these are fantastic. They last for a long time, they are in the cabbage family but they're not edible. Different, um, different uh, pesticides are used on ornamental kale than you would a kale that you would ingest. Beautiful. Beautiful. So up the back, just going to pop some of this taller greenery just through there. Just to start hiding the workings at the back. I'm going to flip it around. I've got some beautiful sea star fern. an oasis in the bottom of this pot. Uh, it's the green biodegradable floral oasis. I've had that soaking uh, for a bit of time now so it's nicely full of water and that will help all these uh, flowers keep drinking. So that's coming along. I want this one up the back so I'm going to keep it longer and because it's like that I'm actually going to put it inside the arrangement to make it fall backwards. Just like that. Place a few more of these sea star ferns through the middle and then I'm going to start placing my roses. Down here at the front. 
And I'm gonna keep that one there for the last minute to see if there's any holes that I need to patch. So then I'm gonna start with my roses, cutting the stems on an angle and working my way from the back down to the front. And I'm gonna clump them. I'll just twist that around that way. Hopefully I can do a decent job on a different angle, working sideways. Stunning. I love these adrenaline roses because they throw a black velvet uh, on their petal. I'm just going to bring that around to start seeing where I'm placing things the right way. That's a beautiful, straight, strong stem. So I actually want to fill in this hole at the back with that one. where you find your holes. There's a couple through here. I'm going to work with those now. If you've got roses that have got a little bit of a, a skinnier stem, you're just holding the top of the rose and the bottom and you're going to feed it through down together, just supporting that rose all the way down. go. One at the front here. And then I'm going to go one just in there. Just to fill in that hole. Sometimes you, you can't feel it. You just got to make sure you're getting it into the oasis. So I'll just turn that back to me a little bit. And that's it. And then I've got this beautiful little andromeda just to dress the whole bouquet around the edges and it just like beautiful little fireworks throughout. So I'm going to pop this one here because it's a nice thin piece and then the big clumpier big pieces I'm going to cut down uh, to dress around the edges. The foliage on it's really quite beautiful too. in the oasis like we've talked about. It's quite nice. I do want another piece of this at the back. replace that one. So the greenery's pushed it over a little bit. So replacing it in the hole that I want it in. Making sure everybody's nice and secure in the beautiful gold pot. And there you have a beautiful little sexy rose arrangement. I hope you enjoyed that and um, I hope you get lucky with that arrangement.